My name is Alberto Zambon, I'm a lipidologist by training, currently working as assistant professor of medicine at the University of Padua in Italy. Here we are in Barcelona at the annual meeting of the European Society of Cardiologists, commenting on four trials uh, that have been presented today concerning a new lipid lowering agent called alirocumab, a monoclonal antibody against PCSK9. The first two trials uh, targeted a population of patients with familial hypercholesterolemia, a genetic disorder of cholesterol metabolism characterized by very high level of cholesterol, particularly LDL cholesterol, and premature severe coronary heart disease. The trials Odyssey FH1 and Odyssey FH2 dealt altogether with about 700 patients with heterozygotes familial hypercholesterolemia and tested whether adding alirocumab on the best currently available therapy with the high dose, highly effective statins were, was able to reduce, further reduce LDL cholesterol. These patients were enrolled where, when LDL cholesterol on the best available therapy was above 100 if they didn't have cardiovascular disease. In patients with heterozygotes from middle hypercholesterolemia with heart disease, the cutoff point for enrollment was 70 mg or 1.7 millimoles of LDL cholesterol. After 24 weeks, LDL cholesterol in patients receiving alirocumab on top of the statins was finally reduced by about 50%, a very significant decrease as compared to the control group. And these results were observed at the later observation after 52 weeks, suggesting a very powerful lipid-lowering, LDL-lowering effect of the monoclonal antibodies alirocumab when added on top of the best available therapy in this specific subpopulation. The second study was the Odyssey Combo trial, where patients at a high risk of cardiovascular disease received uh, alirocumab on top once again of the best uh, available therapy, particularly statins at a high dose. And even in this trial, at 24 weeks of observation as well as a longer uh, 52 weeks of observation, a significant reduction in LDL cholesterol by 50 to 55 percent was observed on the uh, patients treated with alirocumab on top of the best available or currently available uh, therapy with statins. Uh, on the safety uh, side, which of course was a large part of the data collected in these trials, we don't have any evidence of significant difference between those on a statin those on statins and alirocumab at one year endpoint observation time. The fourth trial was called Odyssey Long Term, and it's a trial where the primary endpoint was not LDL cholesterol reduction, but was a safety endpoint. Uh, there was also a post-hoc analysis looking at MACE, particularly fatal and non-fatal coronary heart disease, uh, fatal and non-fatal cerebrovascular disease, and hospital need for revascularization due to acute coronary syndrome. And even in this trial, those on alirocumab, uh, in this case was 150 milligrams twice a week fixed dose, showed a significant reduction as compared to the best available statin treatment by about 50%. Interestingly enough, although it's a post-hoc analysis and a very preliminary observation, this uh, significant strong decrease in LDL cholesterol was followed up by a 56, a 54 percent decrease in uh, MACE events, cardiovascular, fatal and non-fatal uh, events. Now, the events were cut by about a half, and although these results, once again, are preliminary, they need to be taken with cautions, definitely suggest that we are observing a breakthrough advance in the lipid-lowering treatment since the starting year about 40 years ago.